I just want to start, Charlie, by saying it's very nice to be talking to you in circumstances where you've won a couple of games and you're unbeaten in three, and there's there's some happy times to talk about. I know you've been really consistent about the performances, being on that positive trajectory and getting better and better. I know you've always believed you will get results. It, it must be very satisfying, and there must be some element of relief that you've started to put points on the board and, and get something to show for those performances. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about the points, and um, yeah, the relief is that you know we we managed to get our first win, um, and then I, I challenged the players, can we back it up? And then I said to them on on, on Tuesday night, can we go and win three in a row? Um, and ultimately, you've just got to try and set little targets from every each week, each day. And um, they've responded brilliantly. And like you say, yeah, we're, we're undefeated in three, but we know that, you know, come Saturday, it's another tough away game. You know, you, you're travelling, you know, Monday and Friday again, um, two, three hours to Lincoln. You know, we, we arrive late back against um, Bristol Rovers, but there's no excuses. We're, we'll be prepared, we'll be ready. And ultimately, we'll go and try and affect the football match. Is it? Is it habit forming? I think sometimes we say that you can get on a bad run, you can get on a losing run, and it can become a longer thing, and it can become a habit. Is it the same with good habits and winning games? Absolutely, a good habits, performances, good performances. I talk about, I keep saying that's what it is. It's the performance that will get us the win. If we perform well, we'll get wins. Um, we just had to try and get that that mindset changed as quick as we can. It took a little bit of time, but there were small progressions in each game. Daily habits change for the for the players, and um, you know they, they're buying into to what we were trying to do. Again, when you win football matches, then people people start talking about. I want to keep driving the team, the club, um, and really focus on, like I said, performance is everything. If you get the performance right, it will give you a good stand in to to win football matches going forward for the rest of the season. How do you go about changing a mindset? How do you go about changing the way an individual or a group of people? kind of approaches something? Well, listen, ultimately you have to do your homework in terms of the feeling around the building before you come in, um, where each individual's at, and that is just one-to-one -one chats. What they need, you have to observe what the group is, who you can you can probably, you know, if you need to try and have a go at somebody, you, you, know, you know your characters, know people in the dressing room. The other lads might need a little bit of an arm around them and, and talk one-to-one -one in a private um, situation where you, you get the best at them. But also it comes down to as well, what I did say to the big thing from the start was trust. They have to trust us in what we're doing. The training, the the, the meetings, that the, the, the trust and the bond gets better and better on a daily basis. And um, when we when we win football matches, um, the, the, the belief is there for us to, to really affect the group. And um, they've bought into to what we're trying to do brilliantly. And hopefully, you know, we can continue that to the end of the season. How much is it, and I'm, I'm kind of drawing a parallel to what I laughably call my job because it's not real work, but if you want to do something, if you enjoy doing something, rather than somebody's telling you you've got to do it or that, you know, if you don't do it, X consequence is going to come, you, you tend to get better results with that, with that positive enforcement of enjoy it. Is that something that you can do in a football environment or is it so results dependent? No, I think it's I think it's both. I think you ultimately you've got to come in and look at where you're at. You know, when we come in the building, we were bottom of the league, so I had to set a standard for for the football club going forward in terms of the players and the group of players, what I expect from them. And um, ultimately, if you, if you they fall below that, then it's going to be difficult to get in my team. There's a there's there's a standard and there's a, an expectation that we expect from our players on a daily basis. And in the games, we expect them to to go and run hard and be aggressive, be on the front foot. And, and fight for the jersey, and um, if you don't, you don't do that. You don't show signs of that. Then, then it's a, it's an easy decision for me as the manager to, to make. But again, if you have players coming off the bench and really affecting the group, which some of them have done recently, then it gives you another thought in terms of okay, yeah, um, he's, he he could be the next one to to you know if we have to change it up, available and ready to come into the team. So. It's it's about a bit about a cat and mouse really, um, you know. It's just knowing what you need to do and say it at the right moments. But again, you know, I, I came in, I set a, a level and a, a standard to them to say this is what I expect. Um, but again, they've bought into what we we're trying to do, and they, they they see the signs of that, and that's that comes with performance, but also winning football matches, and then you can gradually 
start to go in terms of what we're trying to do. But ultimately, we want to be hard to beat. We want to be, you know, aggression in terms of when we go to press and um, and be hard to beat. And, and let's say when we do that, then we're a different team to to where we have been before. I know you've spoken and we've spoken a lot about players that you brought in and changes that you made in the window and, and integrating those guys. I just wanted to ask about an individual that you've inherited mm -hmm. that in recent weeks has, has really stepped up to the plate in, in Jaden Stockley. Three goals in, in three games. Yes, centre-forwards contribute in different ways and aren't always judged on their goals, but what have you seen from him that's changed in recent weeks and, and how have you got the best out of him in recent weeks? Play to his strengths, um, not getting him to go running crazily, you know, chasing balls, getting him to a central position and being a threat, saving his energy and when we're ready to go and press, he can press the game. But again, he's become a real main figure within the group. You know, he's, a, he's an experienced player. He's, you know, he's, he's worked ever so hard in terms of buying into what we're trying to do. It took him a little bit of time for to get fitness. Obviously, he missed a little bit of pre-season and, and was chasing his fitness a little bit. But ultimately, for him and for, for most players, is getting him on game time. Once we get the game time and he gets up and running, then performances have changed for him. But again, getting him into the right areas um, in the box uh, and being a threat. Um, but again, his hold, his link-up play, his hold-up play for us has been instrumental in terms of being able to get runners in behind and... And you and you've seen that against um, Port Vale at the weekend. You know he he goes he, and he gets his goal from that. And then again, you know he scores from a set play on, on Tuesday night. So we have to keep him fit, fresh, and ready to go for for another big um, big game on Saturday. You have of course also been keeping clean sheets, back to back clean sheets, which Helps. I know is an accolade for the whole team, isn't it? Not just the defensive unit and the goalkeeper. Uh, you play in a Lincoln team who've kept three clean sheets in a row. These chances might be at a premium in this game. Yeah, and, and, and that's you know that's the challenge that we have. This is a good team. Michael, I've co coached against him when he was at Leeds um, and, and was at Leeds for a long time, a couple of interim spells as well. So, no, he's a very good coach. Watched him, you know, in the last few days as well. So, yeah, they're, they're well organised. They're, they're very good, very well coached. And like I say, we have to, we'll have to be ready. They, they're a threat um, in the forward areas. So, you know, there might only be one chance in the game then. And like I say, we have to be ready and prepared for us to, to hopefully take it and, and we, can, we can get an opportunity to win the football match. Does that present a change in mindset in itself? The, the idea that you are keeping it tight at one end and, and maybe there is less of an onus on your forward players to score three or four times to win you again? Yeah, again, it's 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 you know ultimately we were in a position before we come in the building because we we obviously conceded too many goals. So that is the structure. Is that that is that the you know the identity of the team where you know different habits of players. So we've tried to to get a formation that's allowed us to to be compact um, and, and 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 aggression in terms of being able to go and press the game. So. But ultimately, it comes from the front. These three lads that we have at the moment that are playing um, in the forward areas are, are really pressing the, the defence of the opposition, and that's given our, our back lads a, a, an easier opportunity to, to defend well. If, if they weren't going and pressing as hard as they, they know they can, then it's difficult for the midfielders and defenders. So it's a collective. Um, it's not just the front three lads. It's you know, 23, 24 players really having a go at it and, and, and trying to, to get the best out of each other. And at the moment, that's what they're doing. Um, each individual, you know, is is coming on, making an impact in the team, and, and let's say, giving me tough decisions to make at the weekend. How's that squad looking? Because because one of the things I try and do when I've, I've not been able to see the game is I don't look at the starting 11s, I look at the subs bench, and I look at who's not got on. And, yeah. and if there are players that I go, he'd start for a lot of teams, and he's not even been involved, then that sh says to me, strong squad, good competition. I've seen that with your last couple of squads and your last couple of subs benches. Are, are you feeling that it's quite healthy in those areas? Yeah, we're, we're, listen, f f fitness wise, we're okay. We're okay. We've got a couple out missing. Dolan's still missing for a few weeks. Um, Xavi Simmons actually come back into the building this morning for, for the first time since he got injured, which was good to see him. I've kept in contact with Hull and I've kept in contact with Xavi since I came into the club. So knowing that he was coming in the building today, he's probably a few weeks away, but it's nice to him getting back in the group and, and we can now really step his, him, him up for his fitness. Um, Rooney and um, Boyce will be, will be back on the grass 
probably over the weekend um, and, and we'll see where they're at in the next few weeks. So fitness wise, we are OK. We're OK again. But, you know, you know, football where, um, you know, anything can happen um, game to game, especially Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So we have to keep preparing the lads, freshening them up and, and hopefully, let's like say, using the lads that are available and, and ready to go. And just lastly, in some ways, is it is it more important to have that competition when you're doing well and you're winning and you're getting performances because that pressure from players who aren't playing will keep those guys at that level or if they dip, somebody will come in and continue? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the big thing about winning football matches. Um, it gives you an opportunity to, to really bring everybody together. Everybody feels a little bit better when, when you're winning football matches. The building... Is, is in a different place. Um, but again, I keep saying to everybody, you know, that's done now. We have to focus on Saturday. It's the next game. You know, we, we brush Tuesday under the carpet now and we look forward to Lincoln, you know, and we, we'll travel there. And, and let's say it'll be a tough away game. But again, I, I trust and I believe in these players that, that they'll give me but the performance that we are capable of and going and winning a football match.